Hello Golf Pass, Martin Hall coming to you from the amazing Palm Beach Par 3, right on the ocean, a more beautiful place I don't think you could find to hit golf balls. Look, some people want to hit the ball farther, of course they do. Other people want to hit the ball straighter with the driver. Distance is only helpful if you've got some idea of which zip code the ball is going to end up in. So this tip is about shortening your backswing. Um, I'm going to use the three-step drill. If you cannot control your ball and you've pretty much got no idea where it's going, the first thing I would check is, is your backswing too long? Have you lost your structure as you finish the backswing? Is it going too far? And so the drill I would always use for that is what I call the three-step drill to sort of get some spatial awareness of where your arms and hands are. And that would be that you lift the club and put it on your shoulders, you turn the body and you push your hands out there. If you're looking for more accuracy, something like that's probably going to help you. That gives you some spatial awareness of where you want to be. Lift, turn, push, three steps. Lift, turn, push, yep, 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 got it. Not, not that easy to feel that uh, in speed when you're hitting it, unless you are using the beautiful, the magnificent, the so very helpful D-Wiz product. Um, this product does so many things, and one of them is, I've got this set at the moment, that if I make too long of a backswing, yes, I'm going to do it, I will get an electric mm, jolt, I would call it, just a very slight electric jolt. I'll just do that, and I promise you I'm going to feel it. Oh yes, I felt it just as I changed directions. <laughs> it's just a little jolt. It isn't that it's too much. It isn't going to hurt, but you'll know it. And things, look, feel is a really difficult thing. You can't trust it. So with the technology feedback from DWIZ, if I can combine it with, here's a three-step drill, and I can swing without getting that jolt, I'll get the jolt one more time. And when I do that, my back swing there, by the way, uh, my backswing was 52.9 inches long. It measures the backswing. I like to keep my backswing, if I'm trying to keep it in place, somewhere in the 47 inches. So, too long. Yes, I got the jolt. That was too long for me, for sure. Now, this time, I'm going to see if I can swing, find this one, two, find this one, two, three spot. I want to see if the numbers of the backswing are different. I want to see if I can avoid giving myself that learning stimulus. So this will be shorter. Here we go. Forty-seven point three. That was 47.3 inches, a full four inches shorter. So that's very helpful if I'm trying to keep the ball in play. Um, look, you have to make all sorts of adjustments when you play golf. You don't just have one swing. You have one motion if you've got to smash it off the tee. You might have another motion if you've got to hit it fairly straight. D-Wiz will help you navigate all these different scenarios that you need to play better golf. I love it. It's helped me. It's helped a lot of my students. Do yourself a favor and have a look at it.